Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Sleep and Relax ASMR. On episode 305, we are going through the definitive guide of cat breeds. Now, uh, the title is a little bit satirical, right? It's not as if I'm actually going to, I, I don't know all the information about all these different breeds of cats, but um, this was a suggestion made by a listener, inspired by you know, my double rainbow and going over all the different colors in my commentary um, on, on what I saw and the names of the colors. She thought it'd be a good idea to do the same thing for cats and dogs. I'm starting with cats just because it was the first thing um, that I searched for. So we're going to be going through the different cat breeds, according to Wikipedia, and I'm going to uh, give you some information about these different breeds of cats, give you my commentary, um, and uh, yeah, use this as your definitive guide to cat breeds in the future. Again, satirical, don't email me saying that I know nothing about cats. It's all for fun. So let's jump into it. Let's uh, learn about some uh, kittens today. As I open this up. All right. First cat, we're getting off to a strong start here. I won't be able to pronounce this cat uh, properly, I'm sure, but it is in Obsidian, Obsidian, it's A-B-Y-S-S-I-N-I-A-N. It is from Ethiopia. Apparently it is a natural origin cat. The body type is oriental. The coat is short. And the pattern is ticked. To me it just looks like a skinny, short-haired house cat. Next, we have an Aegean, Aegean, A-E-G-E-A-N. It is from Greece. It is semi-long, and it is bi- or tri-colored. The coat looks like a friendly, uh, fluffy house cat. Next, we move on to the American Curl. It is an American cat. Apparently, it is a mutation this origin, uh, presumably meaning just you breed it with, it breeds with different cats and then it just, or it's like a mutation within its genes that just manifests sometimes, I'm not sure. The coat can be either short or long, um, and apparently they're available in all patterns. Now what's really cute about these little American curl cats is they're basically like every other house cat. Except their little ears, they just curl back. They're small ears pinned back. It's really cute, actually. Really cute. Next, we have the American Bobtail. Obviously, an American cat, also a mutation. Coat can be short or long. Um, and it's uh, basically manifest in all different patterns. Um. You know, frankly, for me, it, it just looks like a like a strong house cat. You know, it's it's got the one I see here. It's like orange with black stripes, and um, they just look. It, it looks like it it went to the buffet, um, and worked out simultaneously. You know, like those, you know, like those strong fat people you see. You know, which they may be strong men or strong women, um, or, or strong. What is it? Uh, powerlifting. They may be their powerlifting, uh, or their power lifters, and so they uh, they have this really weird aesthetic where they look. Some of them look like they're kind of out of shape, but you can tell that they're actually jacked. That's kind of what the American bobtail looks like to me. Next up, we have the American short hair. This is a natural origin kitty cat comes in short hair and apparently its patterns are all but color point and I'm not sure what color point is very nice looking cats American wire hair USA that's the country origin it's a mutation and the code is a Rex I'm not sure what a Rex code is 
Anyway, this kind of looks like, um, what's the name of that cat? Grumpy Cat? Kind of looks like Grumpy Cat's cousin. The picture of the cat I see on here, it's not Grumpy Cat, and it's definitely not the same kind of cat as Grumpy Cat, but they look like they're related. It's like Grumpy Cat's less famous cousin, uh, wire hair, long whiskers. Next, we have the Aphrodite Giant. Originates in Cyprus. It is a natural... Uh, it's not a mutated cat. It's a natural occurring cat, I guess. The body type is lean and muscular. And apparently, the pattern is all but cinnamon and chocolate. So you will never see an Aphrodite Giant when you visit Cyprus uh, next summer. Uh, you will never see in cinnamon or chocolate. Now, obviously, it's called the Aphrodite Giant. Based on the picture I see here, I couldn't tell you if it's actually a giant or not. But it's supposed to be always lean and muscular. Next, we have an Arabian Mao. Mao. Originally from the Arabian Peninsula. It is a short-haired cat. And um, not much else to add. Next, we have an Australian Mist, obviously from Australia. It is a crossbreed be between an Abyssinian and Burmese cat. The pattern is always spotted or tabby. And there you have it. I mean, it looks like the Abyssinian cat and the Burmese, although the Abyssinian cat originates from Ethiopia, so I'm wondering how they ended up in Australia. These... Uh, Australian mists. Next, we have the Asian cat, developed in the UK. It says foundation from foundation stock from Asia. I don't know what that means. It is a short coat kitten with an evenly solid pattern. It looks like the black cat. Uh, the picture I'm seeing. It looks like the black cat you see it like in a. Um, in a visualization of like an Edgar Allan Poe poem. Next we have an Asian semi long hair. This is from the UK. Crossbred between a Burmese and and long haired cats. So apparently a Burmese mixed with a long so that's what it looks like obviously. It's just a Burmese with uh, long hair. Next, we have a Balinese. It is developed, or was developed in the United States. And then again, it says foundation stock from Thailand. Sounds very creepy. Uh, it is a long-haired cat, and the pattern is color point. Next we up, we have a Bambino. It is a crossbred cat between a munchkin and a sphinx. And it is uh, usually hairless. It is a dwarf cat. And unfortunately, I do not have a picture available. Next, we have a Bengal cat developed in the United States. It is a hybrid between Abyssin Abyssinian and Egyptian Mao leopard. And that's what they look like. They look like, it looks like if you had a little leopard running around your house. I've understood these cats are very expensive. And, uh... I guess with reason, quite rare. I myself have never seen a Bengal cat in person. Next, we have a Burman, developed in France. It is crossbred, originally a Burman, near extension, with Persian and Siamese. Semi-long coat. And uh, it looks like a Siamese cat, sort of. Maybe like with... Larger eyes. Next, we have a Bombay developed in the United States. It is a crossbreed between an American short hair and Burmese. Body type is moderate, short hair, and is usually totally solid. Uh, it looks like an inquisitive little cat. It looks like the kind of cat that makes a mess in your apartment or in your home, and you come back and they pretend like nothing happened, or they wonder what happened. It's obviously their fault. 
but they give you that cute little look and you can't be mad at them for too long. Next we have a Brazilian short hair. Obviously originates from Brazil. Um, looks like a normal cat to me. I gotta be honest. I'm not very descriptive because I, you know, you know, like on Wired, they have these series on YouTube where it's like an expert discusses cheese and so they'll compare cheese and then someone else will compare art and then someone else will compare cinnamon and spices. Like, I'm, I'm not like that with cats. I can't, can't give you that descriptive of a description. British semi long hair from the UK. The body type is cobby, medium uh, hair, and it comes in all, it's a cute little cat. It's like a fluffy little cat. Very cute. Next we have a British short hair. Uh, it's from the UK, obviously. And it looks like a, um, it looks like a very fierce cat. It looks like the kind of cat that stares at you and never lets go of that, that grip. Just looks at you all day long. Very strong looking cat. But he's got, he's got like, uh, like very thick short hair. I don't know. Very, very pretty cat, but yeah, looks like the kind of cat that just stares at you and you can tell that he or she thinks it's the boss. Next, we have a British long hair. Um, pretty self explanatory. So long hair uh, cat. Next, we have a Burmese. Origins from Burma and Thailand. Short uh, hair. And they are solid. And the picture that I have here is so pixelated that I couldn't tell you anything about it. Next, we have a Burmilla. It's a crossbred between a Burmese and a Persian cat. Um, fluffy tails, pointed ears. Um, overall, cute little cat. Then we have a California Spangled. It's a crossbreed from an Absin Absinian and American short hair and British short hair. And the picture I have here looks like a Bengal. Again. Next, we have a Chantilly Dash Tiffany, and it looks like a very regal cat. It looks like a cat made for Hollywood. You know, it's kind of, it's got like a big fur, like a big mane around it, like it's a lion. It looks like one of those Hollywood actors from like the the fifties wearing like a a big uh, like fur coat, and then smoking those really thin uh, cigarettes or pipes, whatever they were. You know, that they just walk in, darling. It's kind of what this cat looks like. This cat looks like it would accompany that 1950s California Hollywood movie star. If that makes sense, it probably doesn't. Next, we have a Chartreux, Chartreux from France. Natural occurring cat. Body type is copy. The hair is short and it is always solid. Next, we have a Chausset, also from France. It is a hybrid between Abs Absinian and a jungle cat, and uh, it looks like a it looks like someone just took a like a bobcat and put it in their house, and they said, "No, I swear to God, this is this is a domestic cat." <laughs> Based on the picture I see here, it looks like um, yeah, like someone took a an actual bobcat, put it in their house, took a picture, and said, "No, I swear, it's not a." Bobcat, it's actually a chaussee. Next, we have a Cheeto. Crossbred. Hybrid. Bengal and Aussie cat. Kind of looks like a Bengal cat based on what I see. It's always spotted, has short hair. It looks maybe a little bit smaller than a Bengal cat. Next, we have a color point short hair. It looks like uh, just a little cat. Then a Cornish Rex originates from the UK. It is a mutation. Pattern is Rex, and it looks like the distant cousin of a hairless cat. In other words, it looks like it doesn't have a lot of hair, and it looks very thin, and it looks like it has that same kind of texture on its skin that like a, a hairless cat has, but it's not hairless. Next we have a Simric, or Manx, uh, is from the UK, precisely Isle of Man, and can be found in Canada. It looks like uh, the kind of cat that would smoke cigarettes with you. Very serious looking 
uh, cat. Cypress cat can be lean and muscular. Looks like a cute little, cute little lean cat. Next, we have a Devon Rex, also from the UK. Body type is apparently Oriental, which I guess means it has very pointy ears. And, um, I don't know, long legs? I don't know. Like thin body, long legs. Next is a Donskoy or Don Sphinx from Russia. It is a hairless cat. Next, we have a Dragon Lee from China. It is striped or tabby, and the coat is always short. And it looks like a lynx. That's what I see. I see a lynx. Something like that. Next we up, we have a dwarf. It is a crossbreed between an American curl, munchkin, and sphinx. Um, based on the picture, I don't see it having those curled ears that American curl has. But it just looks like a tiny, and it is a dwarf cat. Tiny little cat. Next up, we have the Egyptian Mal. Obviously from Egypt. And it looks like a uh, Bengal cat, except um, the one I see here seems to be almost white with black spots. Very pretty cat. European short hair. Can be found in Finland and Sweden. Well, looks like a normal cat to me. Exotic short hair. Crossbreed between an American short hair and Persian cat. And it is a um, fluffy cat with like a very round face. It looks like it's judging you. It looks like the kind of cat that you can never please no matter what you do. It's always off the mark. Next is a Foldex. You can find these in Canada. It is a crossbreed, an exotic short hair, and a Scottish Fold. Body type is Cobby. Adorable little cat. Tiny little face, little 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 baby eyes. Um, almost looks like a, um, you know, like in Star Wars: The Last Jedi, there was that cute little. Uh, Star Wars always does that, right? They have like a little cute thing, you know. They had um, C three PO or whatever it was called in uh, the Last Jedi or in in whatever it was. I I don't care that much about Star Wars. Anyway, and I think the Last Jedi. Or whatever the newest Star Wars film is. They have like a cute little creature that has like big eyes and says like wow all the time or something. That's kind of what this cat looks like. If you've seen that movie and you look at a full decks, I think you'll, you know, at least at least 4 out of 10 of you will agree with me. I think. I hope. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm always wrong. German Rex, found in East Germany. Looks like a... Uh, Looks like a looks like a street cat. I'll be honest. Next is a Havana Brown. Oh, sorry. Can be found in the UK. Is crossbred between a Siamese and black short-haired cat. Highlander. Found in the United States. Is a moderate-sized kitten. Can be found in all different patterns, and it is a crossbreed between a desert lynx. And jungle curl. And it looks like it, right? It looks like another Bengal cat, like a lynx. It looks like something that, you know, someone just brought into their house 300 years ago and started mating with other cats. And that's what you got. Next, you have a Himalayan or color point Persian. You'll find these in the USA and the UK. They have a copy body type. They are a color point. They have a color point uh, color. Is a cross between a Persian and Siamese. And again, it looks like Grumpy Cat's cousin. Something like that. Japanese Bobtail. Found in Japan. Uh, short or long hair. And you'll find them in all different uh, patterns except color point and ticked. And they just look like, a, you know, just like the Japanese. Very disciplined cat. Looks like it does its homework on time. Looks like it... It doesn't believe in excess. It looks looks very disciplined. That's what I see when I see that cat. Next, we have a Javanese, or a color point long hair, developed in the U.S. and Canada, foundation stock from Southeast Asia. It is a crossbreed between a 
Balinese with some color point short hair, oriental long hair, and Siamese. And it looks like, you know, if you've ever seen Zabumafu, um, that kid show that I used to watch a lot and I loved, they have a, I think it's a lemur. This cat looks like a lemur. Check it out. Check it out for yourself. Don't believe me? Check it out for yourself. Javanese. Next is a cow Matty. You'll find these in Thailand. Um, I'll be honest. It looks like a regular white indoor house cat. Korat. Found in Thailand. Very serious looking cat. Looks like the kind of cat that'll, that'll, that works as like a bodyguard for the Secret Service. Korilian Bobtail. Um, Eastern Russia and Japan. It's a semi kabi the body type. It looks like a munchkin cat that grew, its body grew, so it's like kind of fat, but the legs just stayed really small. And it's got a beautiful sort of like matted, like the legs have stripes on them, but the body itself is kind of like solid, beautiful cat. Next we have a Lykoi. It is a partly hairless cat, and it looks like um, the kind of cat that would be alongside a mad scientist. Maine Coon, I love these cats. Huge cats. I think they're the largest domestic cats um, in the world. Massive cats. They have like these crazy, it almost looks like they're growing beards. They have like this crazy, like sideburns. It's crazy. Beautiful cat. Really fierce looking thing. If you look at Maine Coon, there's a picture of a black Maine Coon that um, it looks like a portrait someone made almost. And it's, imagine having that staring at you at night. We have a Manx up next, uh, which is from the color or the Isle of Man. Mekong Bobtail found in Russia. Um, nothing noteworthy. Minskin. Minskin is a crossbred crossbreed between a Munchkin and a Sphinx, and it is a dwarf cat. And it looks basically like a uh, it looks like a Chihuahua. If you look at Minskin on on Wikipedia, it looks like a Chihuahua cat. Next up, we have a munchkin, obviously self-explanatory. Next is a nebelung, and it looks like a wolf. The picture I have here looks like, like a raccoon with a wolf. Next, we have a Norwegian forest cat, originally from Norway, of course, and a uh, beautiful cat, uh, very fluffy, very furry. Next is an Aussie cat. You can find these in the USA. It is a crossbreed between Abyssinian and American short hair and Siamese. And it looks like a Siamese leopard or something like that. Next, we have an Oriental bicolor developed in the USA and UK, later in, continent, later in continental Europe. Foundation stock ultimately from Thailand. And they are bicolor. They look like very thin, uh, big ear. They look like a... Like a Thin, two-colored house cat with very big ears, big body, and very small, like, thin legs. Long, thin legs. Next, we have an oriental short hair, followed by an oriental long hair, developed in the UK. Uh, foundation stock, ultimately, from Thailand. What else do we have here? We have a Persian cat. Those, like, silly, they, they're kind of like the, the bulldogs of... Of the cat world, you know, kind of like a sunken little face, like a squished little face. Next, we have a uh, traditional Persian cat, which is not quite as squishy of a face. Next, we have a Peter Bolt, which is from Russia, um, hairless cat, um, which I think are adorable. If you don't, then rethink it. Pixie Bob, it is a mutation, falsely claimed to be a bobcat hybrid early on. Apparently, it does not, but it looks like a bobcat. Ragamuffin or Liebling found in the U.S. It is a crossbreed between a ragdoll with limited outcrossing to Himalayan, Persian, or other long-haired cats. Very fluffy cat. Again, if you were to pair this cat with a Hollywood star, it would fit the mold. Beautiful cat. Next, we have a ragdoll. Um, you should know what a ragdoll looks like. Very cute little fluffy cats. Russian blue, kind of like a hairless cat with a little bit of hair, 
but same thing. It looks like it likes to wear Adidas. Savannah Cat uh, looks like a house cat that bred with um, like a leopard and just stayed kind of small. Scottish Fold, it has a copy body and it is a super like fat, fluffy, like big cat but with like a tiny little face. Big head, little face. Selkirk Rex is a mutation between American short hair, Persian, Himalayan, exotic short hair, and British short hair. Too complicated, guys. Let's come on. Next, we have a Siamese, of course. We are Siamese. Developed in the U.S. and Europe. Foundation stock from Thailand. Cute little cat. Next, we have a Siberian or Siberian forest cat. Semi copy body. It looks like um, it's got like short, stubby little legs, fluffy. Next is a Singapura, which looks like a normal house cat, except it has very long ears and its eyes are a little bit more separated. Next up, we have a snowshoe, and the snowshoe looks like what Grumpy Cat is. Um, my guess is that's exactly what Grumpy Cat looks like because this cat looks identical to Grumpy Cat. I think I accidentally cut out a couple. Anyway, next up we have a Tonkinese. You can find these in Canada. Crossbred between a Burmese and Siamese. Short hair. It kind of looks like a Siamese cat. It looks like a Siamese cat. Yeah, it looks like a Siamese cat. I'll stop there. Next up we have a Toyger. Not a tiger, a Toyger. Crossbred between a Bengal and short haired, short haired cat. And uh, it looks like. It sounds, it's basically just a Bengal with stripes, and it is very small. Turkish Angora, uh, semi-long haired cat. You can find these in all but color point. You have a Turkish van, which apparently the pattern is van. I'm not sure what that is, but the one I see here basically has a white body with colored head and colored tail. And we have two to go here. Let's see, Ukrainian Levkoi, hairless cat. It has like folded ears, but forward. Not the most pretty cat. And next we have a York chocolate. That is the last cat. You'll find these in the United States, apparently specifically in New York. New Yorkers, they like to do things differently. It has a long hair coat and the pattern is always solid. To be honest, if you told me this is just a regular black cat found anywhere, I'd believe it. And there you have it. That was the definitive guide to cat breeds. Um, I hope you guys learned a lot today. Probably not, uh, because I'm uh, not an expert when it comes to cats. But hopefully you're asleep by now. And if you're asleep by now, then fantastic. Then I'm talking and you're not even listening to this. So who cares? If you somehow you still are awake, I apologize. But if you still are awake, you can always email the show. More questions, comments, suggestions at hello at sleep and relax asmr.com you can check us out on sleep and relax asmr.com listen to us on radio public if you'd be so kind that's all for this episode thanks as always for listening and take care <laughs>